And we see here, Coach, uh, is this basically your wall of fame? No. We think like this, yeah. Uh, because kids, uh, no? first we go to gym. First one, we have to, uh, they have to see what kind of, they can be here too. It's some motivation because, for example, like, uh, we have a lot of international people, like Polish language, French language, Russian, Bulgarian, uh, Spanish, Spanish yeah. English, it's, Italian it's, there. It's, oh, yeah. And the uh, way that our famous, famous time, we have visit uh, President Bush. President Bush. It's some history where kids go to uh, here. They have to understand. They go for this mostly for freshmen. They go to gym, they open the gym, and they look at the Opa, it's, I have to be, try be equal. Because who is uh, Jason Rogers? Who is Adam Crompton? Who is Hena? How they have to work? Because uh, it's only. And like this case, only people who make uh, Olympic Games. And not only make Olympic Games, they make uh, medal. Like now, uh, Tokachev Denis, I hope soon he will be a good sponsor. This work with oil and gas. It's fencers, mostly very smart people. They graduate tough people. Uh, not only they, everybody is smart, but Tom Fencer is a hard worker. A hard worker, soon we have a uh, good sponsor come back Steve. Excellent. Now, Coach, I'm going to take a quick look uh, yes, at please, your yes. Wall of Fame. Alana Goldie, of course, returns for her yeah. senior year after uh, a very successful year last year. Yes. She was bronze yeah. the last year. Yeah. She's like all three years make a uh, medal. Top three. Oh, really? Yeah. Adam Crompton, three times national title uh, in, the, in the, the where is fence, uh, kid smart, Ivan Lee. Uh, he made freshman, he crushed everybody. <laughs> now he live, he graduated here, he lived here, he working here. He's original from In Columbus? Yeah, in New Jersey. He work uh, so hard, now he have two children. It's nice, you know, I'm like very happy. Uh, it's so nice, I have nice, Lucky, I'm lucky I have nice, not only like they win, no, it's tough, tough, tough people. And, and coach Adam, Adam Crompton is here in Columbus, Ohio, or you said New Jersey? No, he's Delaware, it's very close. Here. Oh, it's like small, like 30 miles from here. Okay, his wife, uh, graduated, she's a girl from Japan, and she graduated veterinary, and they have like Delaware, and they have. Uh, He's cleaning, she worked. And now he worked in National White Arena. Okay. We see there uh, Max Chastanet, who also returns. He's Which only a junior. He's, he's in junior, he like, it looks like he's skinny, but inside he's, I, for me it's not secret if he 2020 gives for a lot of people surprise. Well, I interviewed him earlier today and he said exactly that, that his, his eyes are set in 2020 and everything he does in his training is focused yeah, on that. Focused. Now, Coach, the, we're still in 2016. Olympic silver medalist Alexander Masialis returns yeah. to NCAA fencing this year to potentially take back his crown that Max claimed last season. How are you feeling about that matchup this year? No, Michelle, uh, not only Michelle, uh, now became in foil, uh, so aggressive fencing. Michelle is one of the best athletes in the world now. And uh, for me, it's not a surprise. He already win. He make it silver, but he already continue for at least like until 2028 or 32. <laughs> With young people, like it's like 22 years old. Fencing, uh, mostly fencing uh, until 34, 34, 35, it's okay. I finished 36. I don't feel, but uh, I am too old or something. We have experience. We have everything for make result. Uh, all men's foil team in the United States, 
this season may be a little bit unlucky, but uh, from right now to at least to Olympic Quadrenio, I believe they already crush everybody. Well, we saw that this year in you know their bronze medal performance. Yeah, a lot of people said you know that that gold could have could have also been claimed, but really exciting to see the success they mm -hmm. had. Of course, like continuing on. And uh, it's national champion, uh, Katarzyna. Now she lives and she married. Now she has a baby, boy. And she like too far, not too far from here in Cincinnati. She's very happy. Uh, she's a nice girl. She's like... You need, to have, you need to have alumni competitions, coach. Soon will be because they are family cycle. Uh, they in Mona, twice she made her. Too from us, I mean, go from our team too. Really? Because now they go to Dominicana, like uh, for engage. And uh, Maggie Chumakov, uh, she make Olympic games. She's strong girl. She some she won uh, Bernie. She graduate uh, and she fighting in some make Olympic games. Horony, tough guy. He twice win uh, nationals. And Harani, an interesting story because he was a very, very successful foil fencer. He's tall. And and then competed on the senior international scene in Epe. It's Gary. Uh, his uh, some his coach Gary Copeland. He had two kids, older one. And they're in Boulder, Colorado. Yes, older one. Uh, he win NCAA foil in Epe. It's now Harani change, but I don't know. And Gary Copeland actually he's a pay coach. But how he make it both, it's his secret. He's like, look like he make it more like any other club, more middle for like under 12, under 14, and it's junior. Now, uh, one boy, uh, no, it's probably, I cannot say nay, but uh, he won kid very strong now. It's if he make it middle in world championships, under 20, will be not surprised. Yeah, and that club is uh, puts out a lot of fencers. Yeah, it's Max uh, Stearns. He beat record uh, Jason Rogers. He graduated 395. Max graduated 4.0. Wow. But, uh, Jason made better result in. Yeah, He's that... good too. He made the silver, <laughs> the silver medal in the uh, in Cinebrae. World Championships. Yeah, in World Championships. Yeah, he stopped. He's... Now he in Boston. He make it. Uh, High level job, we were really happy. And it's of course, Eleanor Harvey Eleanor. returning from her 2016 yeah. NCAA title. Lee Kiefer looking to be among the biggest challengers this yeah. year. Well, this season, like, hard, it will be a very tough competition. And of course, uh, Jason Rogers qualified for his first game. Men's at best, as did. Uh, and she got in our school, uh, Eleanor as an Island Grange. And she represents Panama for yeah. as a women's yeah. women's sabers. Yeah. All right, coach.